What is up guys, AJ here from AJVM Fishing. So for today's episode, I'll be sharing to you guys my go-to ajing essentials and I'll be showing you the basic gears and accessories I bring for all my ajing fishing trips. So without further ado, so what I have here is my LSD Designs Tune Neo bag. So I've been using this bag for a while now for all my ajing fishing and yeah, I'll be sharing to you guys uh, what I have inside this bag for all my ajing fishing trip. So if you guys want to get this bag, I'll be leaving the link in the description below for you guys to check out. You can get this bag at uh, Salt Head and I'm currently using the black one. So this bag has been uh, serving me well for a while now and yeah, I'll be showing you guys some of the function that I love for this bag. So this bag is actually a hip bag but you can also use it as a sling bag so they also provide you a sling right here can be attached at this to its section right here so some of my friends also use this uh, hanging stuff over here to put their boga and yep it works well so let's see what's inside the first compartment so what I have here are all my Ajing jig hits a few ranges of uh, Deco Rocket Magic and some lighter jig hits and this side is for all my light rock if you guys want to get some of our Deco Rocket Magic Jig Hits, I'll be leaving the link in the description below for you guys to check. As well for our Salty Bite Rubbers, what I have here are some of my 1.3 inches uh, sizes Salty Bites. And on the other side are all my 1.8 sizes. So if you guys want to get them, link in the description below. So at this side right here, I have a LSD design. Uh, stretchable carabiner so I have a line cutter and this toothbrush is actually for all my egging games when uh, some of the seaweeds get stuck in the hook I'll actually use this to remove the dirt so on the side right here I have my of course one and only guard grip that have been serving me well for a very long time now and a hemostat in case a fish actually swallowed the whole uh, jig head you can actually use this tool to remove the hook from the fish mouth and yeah it will be easier for you so at the right side right here it's actually quite waterproof so recently it has been raining and yeah I've been testing this section right here on the right side of the bag and yep so far it's actually waterproof but in the website they mentioned that this bag is not actually waterproof so i highly suggest not to risk it and yeah i have my gopro here and my spare batteries so on a full day kind of fishing for example at bedok jetty i only bring uh, my spare batteries and i don't bring my power bank because uh, it usually lasts me the whole day so what i have here is my hero 9 and inside here i usually put my spare batteries and yep uh, this charger is actually when i bring my uh, portable chargers to easily charge the batteries in case i run out of uh, juice so on the left side right here you can put your water bottle and you can also uh, hang your uh, setup in this particular section of the bag because it can be open as you guys can see there's a clip right here for you to open and you can slot your setup like, like that and yeah when you walk around it will be dangling on your left side so on the left side you can put one water bottle and if you guys want to carry one more uh, water bottle and you don't want to carry any plastic bag i highly suggest on getting a bottle holder so this bottle holder is actually from lsd design as well so i usually hang it on the right side of my uh, bag to keep a good balance on the bag because you have one quite heavy water bottle over this side and yeah it's highly suggested you can put something on the right side to keep it balanced so it won't actually wobble as you walk so i'll be sharing to you guys what's inside the bigger compartment so what i have right here is my ziploc bags so the use of my ziploc bag is for tapawing fish basically and the other thing is to actually put my mobile phone my spare batteries and maybe my power bank when it rains so to protect them from getting soaked so what i love about this bag as well they provided this clip so the bag won't really expand yep so you can actually take this off so what i have right here is my neck mount on my gopro 
So on the left side right here, I have my trusty raincoat. I always bring this raincoat in case it rains, especially nowadays it keeps on raining in the afternoon. So yep, I highly suggest on getting a quality raincoat. And yeah, this one is actually from uh, Decathlon, which is kind of cheap, but yep, it works well. So this bag contains my fishing reel, which is the Twin Power C2000S HG. And it's actually paired with my Bon Voyage Soft Finesse BBS 664UL or sometimes I bring my 704UL with me. When I don't bring my uh, cooler box with me, I actually hang my, my uh, travel rod in this manner. So when I walk around, it's actually dangling this way and yep, I don't need to carry anything on my hands. Another thing is actually a pair of uh, polarized sunglasses. So this uh, shade is actually from LSD Design as well and I've been using it recently and it's actually quite good and it protects your eyes on the side which is very good as well. So I highly suggest on getting a quality of polarized sunglasses to protect your eyes from the sun and to also have a better view of the fishes underwater. So that's some of the cheat code that we use when we are actually spotting fish. So in this bag right here, I believe you guys have been saying this in my videos, is actually my, yeah, guff. If you guys are fishing in a jetty kind of environment, for example, a Bidok jetty, I highly suggest on getting your own uh, guff because some of the anglers there might not lend you the guff or net. So it's best for you to bring your own. So this guff is actually a DIY one. So I have a weight at the bottom right here, as you guys can see, for it to keep balance and not swing around when it's very windy. So it's easier to guff the fish when you land something. So what I have uh, here is actually my leader line. So I've been using this uh, Daiwa FC leader line for a very long time now and it's quite cheap and affordable for 100 meter. I think it's around 12 bucks. So yep, if you guys wanna get this as well it's a very good line and on the left side right here I don't have anything so what I have here is my trusty cooler box so this fella right here have been serving me quite well for all my Ajin game so I usually bring this to keep my drinks cold for the whole day of fishing and to actually tap out fish so it's a very small portable uh, cooler box and I have all my decals right here from the measuring tape, AJVM stickers, McGregor stickers, little fishy stickers and all my bone and Xerox stickers. So I also have a custom uh, rod holder right here made from my old Meiho Tiger box rod holder and uh, yep these uh, suction cups right here are from Ikea guys so I actually took uh, two and yep they are actually sucking pretty well. And yep, I'll be pimping this cooler box very soon with our new decals, the 2021 collection. So do check them out. And yep, I highly suggest on getting a portable cooler for all your aging session to keep your drinks cold and yep, to keep yourself hydrated on a full day of fishing. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and don't forget to share your aging essentials in the comment section below. And if you guys want to get the LSD tuning bag, you can use AJVM code upon checkout for free shipping. And I'll see you guys next time. Tight lines.